Okay, now invite candidate Pusdil Kitman. Hi, good afternoon. Have you ever catch a flu? Do you know the flu is caused by influenza virus? Influenza virus is basically packaged genetic material that exists to replicate. They infect the breathing system of hosts, which include human, birds, horses, and other animals. They hijack the host's system and make proteins of their own, so they can only live with you, and they cannot live without you. Influenza virus has a lot of tricks to invade you. For example, it has all these spikes on the surface to help to bind to your throat and nose. Our body has a good system to fight back, though. One of the strategies is for our cells to commit suicide. You know, dead cells cannot support virus growth. So this process is called programmed cell death, or apoptosis, in which the cells shrink and reduce themselves into fragments, which then be cleared away. Now we catch flu all the time. We get fever and sore throat for a few days, and then we recover. That's the case for seasonal human flu. But when H5N1 bird flu cross species barrier and infect human, that caused great trouble. The mortality rate for human infection by H5N1 flu virus, bird flu, is 60%. And in 1997, we killed a million birds just to stop the spread of the virus, fearing that this vi bird flu, H5N1, would cause a new pandemic. One of the major differences between seasonal flu and H5N1 bird flu is that seasonal flu stays mainly in the upper respiratory tract and bird flu can go deeper into the lung and cause inflammation. My project tries to answer why would there be such a difference in the disease severity between these two viruses, and I ask if the induction of apoptosis by these two viruses is different in human, and if so, how does it contribute to disease severity? My lab can culture lung cells in plastic flasks, so we can study the battle between the flu virus and our cells without having to feed a person with H5N1 bird flu. I found that H5N1 bird flu infected cells don't commit suicide as early as seasonal human flu infected cells. And so, the H5N1 flu might have more time to replicate and have more time to spread to other places in our systems and cause a more severe disease. Understanding the details of how the virus invades us and how our body responds to the virus we hope to contribute to the development of novel treatment for seasonal virus, seasonal flu, and also the severe bird flu. Thank you.